Alright guys, Coach George Tannis here and doing a little bit of renovations here in the gym, a little bit of reorganization, moving things around and I thought I'd discuss a few things while I'm moving my plates. If you like the content, please like, subscribe and share and we got some good stuff as far as investing in home gym equipment, using home gym equipment, uh, gym, regular gyms, uh, cooking, lifestyle, like, subscribe, share. All right, so I have a video I just made unboxing of uh, the Bells of Steel Mighty Grip plates. And <laughs> these are my Rogue USA plate that I bought a year ago. So we're in January 2023 now. I ordered these last year, January 2nd. I think they came around January 19. I think I opened them up a few days later. And as you guys might know, absolutely horrible. They've been here for a year, almost. Another two, three weeks, whatever. I haven't touched them. Actually, when I did the unboxing, which I haven't even uploaded yet, but I will one day, I had my squat bar here, my Rogue squat bar, and I was adding them up. And already you can see my face going a little bit. As I was opening it up, these were like, some of them were damaged, were chipped. Now, what I want to say is, with quality going down so much amongst the typical common home gym equipment, Rogue, Bells of Steel, uh, Wrap, whatever, a lot of the quality is down. I mean... Some of the companies are, the quality is really, really still up, still, has always been up, but so are their prices, which make it definitely out of reach for most people. And I'm talking like Hammerstrand, uh, Atlantis, Aleco. Those guys are off top. Those guys are off not regularly for most people, okay? Rogue, Rep, whatever, Bells of Steel. People can kind of sort of still afford that. But the quality has gone down. So is there really a benefit of uh, paying a premium today if you're not expecting premium? I paid a premium for these USA plates and they came with chips, dents, irregular logos, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And apparently these are supposed to be Rogue's finest plates. And they came with so much imperfections. And at that price point... I want perfection and after building 200 gyms in the last 30 years I can tell you there's still a lot of plates around this city that I personally ordered and opened up in the last 15 years 10 years 20 years 1992 even maybe close to 30 years yeah well, 30 years <laughs> okay okay so I'm talking Aleko, I'm talking Ivanko, I'm talking Hammerstrand. They're all out there. They're still out there. Yorks, a lot of Yorks out there, especially the machined Yorks that people were selling for free up until a couple of years ago. Those plates are still used and abused for decades. And these plates here, Rogue's Finest plates, which I paid a premium for, came with chips, stents, craters, irregular R's. And when I called Rogue to complain, they told me it doesn't ruin the functionality of the plates. Well, that's what we're going to discuss now. If you're going to pay premium and you're going to be stuck with imperfections, what's the point to pay premium? Just tell me. I want to know. Okay? Obviously, if I order something from Aleco, for example, and there's a crater in the plate that I just paid $9 for, a pound... They know that's a forever purchase for most people. That's a really big thing. They know that's going to be looked upon. It's going to be in a competition. It's going to be, you know, maybe in a, in a, in a video, whatever. Why would you want somebody to see that? Okay? And that's the thing that I couldn't understand with Rogue. Why they were trying to force me to keep these weights. Well, they did force me. I have them and I hate them. And I haven't used them in a year. They're still here. Look at them. They're still here. Okay? They're still here. Look at them. They've never been used before. Look. Look at the back. Do you think they're used? You think they're used? Huh? Watch this. <laughs> Do 
You think that's used? Really? Okay. So what I'm trying to say is that in today's economy, where things are just going up and up and up, and some manufacturers, and I also blame some of the people that actually act like experts in the whole gym deal. I've never heard of these guys. I don't know who the hell they are. I really don't care. Um, but the fact is that some of these guys actually say, oh, uh, that's normal, that's regular, that's uh, acceptable, whatever. And because a lot of these guys are getting free equipment from manufacturers, are paid off by manufacturers, uh, probably have mental health issues of themselves, um, I think it's kind of sort of the gym industry, well, it's for some people, not the people I deal with, but uh, their expectations has gone down. And the only people benefiting from this are people like them that are actually telling you not to have high expectations. But yeah, go ahead, pay a, pay a high premium for the equipment anyways, right? So I'm paying a high premium, but I'm getting nothing in return. So why don't I just go and buy a $2 a pound plate from a Bells of Steel or a, or a York or whatever. And that way I don't care about the quality because, you know, it's just something that I expect that it won't be as high, maybe. 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 Or if something is really irregular, I can have assurance that uh, the company will take care of me. And say, hey man, it came with an irregular R. Is that like a regular R? Like, is that your logo? No, it doesn't ruin the functionality of it. Do you really want me to post that online? Do you would not feel shamed if I show people? You guys can see what I'm talking about in previous videos. You would not feel shame if I told people, hey, look at that R. Now, here's another problem. Even though they told me <laughs> in these, uh, <laughs> these uh, chat boards, these message boards, whatever, uh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. Uh, building gyms for 30 years. Built, like, big facilities where thousands of people work out a day. Built some of the most luxurious home gyms. Some of the most even, like, crude home gyms with, like, you know, do-it-yourself, made-up stuff, whatever. Why, why, why do I not know what I'm talking about? If an R doesn't look like an R of your logo, there's a chip in the in the in the in the chips and dents, scratches, discoloration. Why I don't know what I'm talking about because my plates came like that. What is? I don't get it. Why? Why? Why would you accuse me of not knowing what I know here? Do you look? One year has not been used, and now. I had to complain to the, my, as Rogue was trying to force me to keep these plates, they said, okay, sure. We can't promise you, if we send you new plates, we can't promise you they'll be any better than the ones you have. Because it's normal. Well, if it's normal, why don't you show people normal pictures in your advertising? Because I'm not seeing uh, irregular R's, irregular logos, chips, dents, and scratches, and this color forget. I'm not seeing that in your, in your, in your advertising. So how normal is it? Okay, well, if you send them back and we send you new plates, that's what you're probably going to get. Maybe same or even worse because uh, it doesn't ruin the functionality. Another issue I had is I threw away the boxes because I had 50 boxes with my order. Not 50 boxes, but you know what I mean. About 30 boxes I had, so I quickly threw them out. Okay? So basically now, I just opened up my Bells of Steel boxes. Okay? So now, if I was rogue and there was something wrong, it's, let's just say I bought expensive uh, uh, bumper plates or something. I don't know anybody that keeps the boxes, man. We just throw them out right away. But now I tell people, you know what, just keep them. Especially, you know, never been used. Never been used. Never been used. Look at that. Never been used. Okay? And they wanted me to have the boxes. Then, we couldn't come to a resolution. 
I came up with so many resolutions that would have benefited Rogue. Like, you don't know, man. I wish I could actually talk to Bill, the owner. I, I don't think he would be so happy with uh, what exactly happened. And then I had to buy the Aleco plates in May because I couldn't use these plates because A, I didn't want to, B, they're damaged, and C, I wanted new plates or I wanted my money back or something. And they weren't listening to me. So I had to get my credit card involved. Well, while I'm getting my credit card involved, I do want to use weights, right? You would think after spending thousands of dollars on plates, you would be able to use plates in your gym, right? You would think. But no, Rogue was trying to tell me that um, if you get new plates, we send you new plates, they might be the same because that's it. Doesn't ruin the functionality, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You don't have boxes, so tough luck, whatever. And here's my boxes. Now I'm thinking, hmm, okay. So I had to buy a new set. And even before the resolution was uh, complete and done, I just couldn't take it anymore. They haven't been used. Look, they haven't been used. They haven't been used. The only scratches you see is when they put them on the floor. <laughs> they get scratched up like that. Okay? They're horrible. The e-code is just garbage. Anyways. So, they've been for sale for almost a year at 25% off. Okay? I see no reason to go before, below 25% off. One, I don't have to sell, though I don't even care. The money wouldn't affect me at either way. And two, there's a sense of pride to say, hey, my customers and I do not want to be ripped off. So if we're going to pay premium, we expect premium. And we don't expect people that are uh, supposedly spokespeople, spokesperson for the industry to tell us in, ch in, 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 in chat boards, message boards, on Facebook and whatever, Instagram, social media, to tell us what is right or wrong. I don't know. I don't understand where these thirty-year-olds, twenty-year-olds have so much experience when they haven't even. I don't know, man. I mean, by thirty, I did a lot of stuff in the strength and conditioning world, in the education world, but I still kept my mouth shut when I knew where there was better, more qualified people to speak than me. Now that I'm fifty, I scratch my head on these experts that are like 20 years old, and I'm like, expert in what? <laughs> How is that even possible? What did you do? So then I had to buy these Alico plates because I couldn't use those plates. And now, during the Christmas holidays, they've never been used. Never been used. Never been used. Never been used. And now during the Christmas holidays, there was a lot of uh, Black Friday deals. This was a pretty good year if you were going to buy something. Not so much from Rogue, but I think Bells of Steel had some good fifth stuff, especially for Canadians. I was pushing Bells of Steel very hard. If you were in Canada, you're especially if you're in Southern Ontario, could have got good stuff. And I actually got, uh, we actually got a couple of cages. We're expecting some new cages. Got a lot of weights. And even though they're saying there's nothing wrong with the weights, people in shop boards, okay? Even though there's nothing wrong with them, I've been selling my Rogue USA plates for a whole, almost a year. No, I know what am I saying. I've had them for almost a year. They've been for sale since maybe last March when the credit card company said, why don't you just sell them? And I'm like, okay, sure. And nobody wanted them. Everybody was lowballing me. Oh, I'll give you $2 a pound. Why would you give me $2 a pound when Rogue is selling them for four twenty a pound? I mean, it's a North American mentality thing where you are actually hoping that the next guy is choking and suffering and no money and that I'll take advantage of him, huh? You won't take advantage of me, boy. You're not there yet. But these plates have been for sale for about eight, seven months, and I've gotten very little real offers. To say even we're in the range, to say even like a little bit above $3 a, a, a pound, nobody even wants to offer them. And that's, that's without even telling people there's something wrong with them. Because according to these experts, there's nothing wrong with them. According to Rogue, there's nothing wrong with the plates. It's normal to have an irregular art chip stance creators. It's regular. Right? Isn't that what you said? 
So if it's regular and I'm selling them at 25% off for seven months, how come nobody's buying them? So getting back to the real message of this video, I no longer think that some companies are actually worth it, worth getting. Okay? I think you can do better just getting plates from like a regular company. If they come with ships, stamps, and craters, who cares? Because of the price point you went. If you want like forever plates, I don't think Rogue makes any forever plates that uh, most people I know would like. Forever plates for me are something like a, a very classical Ivanko, uh, an Alico, something like that. Or maybe some 50, 60 year old grew up with something and he wants those back. For example, something from uh, from uh, York or something. Or again, maybe like an Avanco plate. And uh, never been used. Never been used. Never been used. Brand new. And I can't sell them. And I can't sell them. And that's why, that's another reason why I want to buy the Bells of Steel plates this uh, Christmas holiday. Because I said, you know what, I really do not want to use the Rogue USA plates because once I use them, they're used, right? And they haven't been used. And I wouldn't mind getting my money back in full because once I use them up, I mean, I can't even get $3 a pound. So if I use them, I probably not even get $2 a pound. People are offering me the same amount of money for my Rogue USA plates. Rogue's finest plates, I'll give you $2 a pound. How are you giving me $2 a pound? Have you not gone on the marketplace to see that people are selling your, uh, York old plates, used plates, chipped, used for $2 a pound? But you want my brand new, finest rogue plates for $2 a pound? Really? Is that what you, what you should think? You won the lottery today, man? Get out of here. So basically what I want to say is that it's not even worth it to spend that extra money no more. You know what I mean? We have experience. We know. We have coaches. We have gyms. We know what's working on the dance floor, on the gym floor. We know what's working, and we know what they're being put through. When you're talking about a home gym guy who's the only person using that barbell, the only person using that weight, that weight only gets used once or twice, three times a week, maybe. I have a squat rack. Oh, I have a, a belt squat machine that he spent 6000 bucks on. He's only used it three times, but apparently he knows it. I'd rather talk to an owner or a personal trainer coach that has used that machine a hundred times maybe with like 20 30 40 minimum people different people and say yeah okay yeah i want to talk to that guy not some guy you know you have these guys on instagram and facebook they're doing reviews and they've never even used the product again yeah this just came in i'm going to do a review on it how are you doing a review on it you haven't even used it used it with who yourself with clients with different people different heights different strength different backgrounds, different age. Use it with who? What experience do you have to tell me? What are you going to share with me? Nothing, nothing. So it's not even a point to actually share, uh, to um, buy expensive equipment anymore, okay? I say just get what works. For example, a lot of people ask me why. Well, I've always, this was always on my to-do list, but not, <laughs> not, at the, not when I bought them it wasn't, okay? Because first of all, I wasn't anticipating of using them too much this summer. But anyways, uh, because I have so much experience with these plates, um, I think these are the third generation, and uh, we've got experience with all of them. Because I have extensive experience with uh, these plates and Aleco, uh, Aleco plates, I have no problem buying them. Okay? The only, the only reason I didn't buy Aleco uh, powerlifting plates last year when these were coming out is because... They were redesigning them, and their redesigning came out last month. They redesigned their IPF plates, which I knew over a year and a half ago, which is why I st stayed away from them, because I was waiting for the new design. I knew they were being designed. I didn't know when they were coming out. And then in September 2021, I was actually going to buy the Rogue calibrated plates, which were still good value at the time. I was going to get a cage at the same time, and I was going to consolidate my shipping costs, so it would have been really, really cheap for me. But actually, September 9th, Friday, I think the Rogue raised their IPF plates by about eight, $900 that very next day, 
even though I had an invoice, I had an invoice for the plates, I had an invoice for a RM4 rack, and um, still raised the price that day. I remember because I bought these on Thursday, September, whatever, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think, I think it was Saturday, September 11. So I think, uh, I think on Friday, September 10, the uh, Laco, uh, sorry, the road plates went up about 900 bucks for their 459 kilogram. Okay, and then a lot of people have complaints. And these, if you go online, these plates here actually have some of the worst ratings. Okay, for a new plate from Rogue, they've only been out now for what, a year and a half? Two years most, I think about a year and a half they've been out. And we still don't have any change plates. We got the tens, the fives have been out meh, here and there. I've, heard, I've only seen the twos and the ones and whatever, the little change plates, I've only seen them a few times throughout the year so now i can't finish this set because i have no confidence in this set because they're already coming out damaged right out of the box and i open up bells of steel plates and they're coming out without like anything they're like they're perfect i open up these guys and they're coming out with chips creators and things obviously obviously my credit card believed me obviously anybody believed me obviously when i was talking to manufacturers and gym sellers distributors they were all on my side. They said, no, they shouldn't have They shouldn't have gave those to you. Those should have never left the factory. Look, there's dust on them. Okay? You can see my other videos for the damage. Crazy. So is it worth spending the extra money today? I think not. I think quality control and respect for the customer has gone down so much that I think that probably just look at maybe more cheaper companies. I mean, if money's not an issue to you, that's fine. And you're ordering something, whatever. They might respect you, whatever, a little bit more. Even though, uh, even though I've ordered so much from Rogue and ordered with customers and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Over the years, I still got such disrespect that that's one reason why I refuse to use these plates. But these plates are going to have to be used anyway. So we'll see. I'm going to give this one more, maybe at the year mark, if they don't get sold for at least about 25%. They're gone. They're gone. I mean, I got to use them. And every time I, I use them, I'll be reminded. Every time I look at them, I'm reminded of the hell Rogue put me through. And how you got overzealous managers that don't know what being a manager and delegating. They don't know what the hell's going on. Like I said, if I ever spoke to Bill and I told him what happened, I'm sure people would get fired. So anyways, my suggestion for 2023, don't buy anything you don't need. Everybody's buying new equipment, new barbells, new whatever. You need this barbell for that. You need this barbell for that. No, you don't. Okay? We trained, we trained Olympic athletes with nothing but a public track, public gym, a medicine ball. And we did pretty fine with some of the greatest athletes. So it's weird for me how these guys have home gyms, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, with all these latest stuff. And they look like they don't even work out. But they're gym experts. They will tell you that chips, dents, creators, or whatever is normal. Meanwhile, you open up cheap plates. For example, these bells of steel, you can see the unboxing I did. And they're beautiful. And you order expensive plates, and they tell you, no, it's normal. Well, if it's normal, you show me it's normal in your thing, in your advertising. That's not normal. There are some companies that still have respect for you. I would say that the Laco, Hammer Strength, um, maybe American Barbell. Uh, Bells of Steel does very good with their customers, but again, at their at their profit point, you know, you got to be careful too. But yeah, I'm I, I I I Atlantis Atlantis does good stuff still. Again, you're paying for a premium for most of these companies that I just mentioned, except for Bells of Steel. But I don't think most people need to venture up there. You're talking about people that are opening up gyms with credit, and if they go out of business, they're probably not going to pay off the, that equipment anyways. Nobody's paying off gym equipment like that to 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 make a gym like that you're talking millions and millions of dollars they can go out of business at no problem trust me but it's just going to be like a bankruptcy thing they're not really paying for it for people like me and you that are actually paying for it uh you know people like my clients that just tell me okay they don't even want to know what it is just order it you know what i mean some people got money like that and that's good and some people just want the best and some people just want get me what works get me what it will last Get me something my grandkids will use. Do you know what I mean? And I just think that some companies right now, the quality has gone down, the price has gone up, and I don't even think it's worth it spending that type of money or supporting those type of businesses 
that treat customers like that. All right, I'm gonna move this over. I gotta move that over. And uh, hopefully I knocked in some sense to you guys. Stop spending money you don't need to. Stop supporting companies that wanna charge you for a premium and think you got your, think that you got your, your, your back against the wall and oh my God, I gotta have that beautiful plate. Yeah, but when that beautiful plate comes all damaged, they tell you, oh, no, it doesn't ruin the functionality of it. And then you're like, man, you know what? And just as I say that, I think there's one guy who left a review on these USA plates on the, on the, on the US, USA sites. He's, uh, in retrospect, I wish I just got cheaper plates because the plates he got, again, came with blemishes or whatever. All right, guys, Coach George Tannis here. Like, subscribe, share. And, um, yeah, so, all right, all right.